What's this I hear you ask? It is a delicious Slimming World mince pie. The video of the recipe is in the description below. And speaking of questions... Hey guys, welcome to Weigh In Time. It is Sunday again, which means it is time for the Sunday Weigh In. Pop your highs, your lows, your gains, your losses, any questions you have, and I'll be able to answer them, and so will the other viewers. In this episode, I'm going to be giving you my top five or six of the best, sweetest treats, which are actually low in sins that will keep you going and make sure you don't feel like you are missing out. And also, we've had loads of questions over the last month and a half since I started doing videos, so I'm going to be answering those in this episode coming up. Question number one. Am I endorsed by Slimming World? Now, I've received this question a couple of times, and the answer to this question is no, I am not. I have no affiliation with Slimming World apart from the fact that just like everybody else, I pay $4.95 and I go to a group once a week. Question number two. Jojo Smith asked, how often do you plan on releasing videos? Well, my videos are going to be released on a Thursday and on a Sunday. Question number three. Chic Organization One asks the question, do you ever have cheat days? And the answer to that question is no, never. Question number four. A question that I get asked a lot is whether or not there are recipes for pescatarians and vegetarians on Slimming World. And the answer to this question is absolutely yes. There are a lot of dedicated Slimming World recipes that are aimed towards vegetarians. However, you can also just do a standard Slimming World recipe and then just replace the meat products with vegetarian equivalents and they'll come out just as tasty. Question number five. Jane Hill asks the question, will I be doing a video on how I lost five and a half stone without Slimming World? And the answer to this question is yes. If you're not a regular viewer, I've lost ten and a half stone, five stone of it is on Slimming World, and five and a half stone is without Slimming World. Now, I will be doing a video on it, but basically I changed the way I eat, and I consumed less calories than my body needed per day. Question number six. Tatley Deborah asks, what are your favorite meals? I have quite a lot of favorite meals which are Slimming World friendly. Some of them are Slimming World dedicated and others I've made up myself. Um, I would say that the Slimming World bolognese and the chow mein are definitely in my top five. Um, I'd also say sweet chili chicken, that is absolutely delicious. And uh, up there as well is my new one which is rice with the bird's eye inspiration sweet chili salmon. That's definitely a good meal. Question number seven. Chic Organization One has asked a question, and that is which yogurts do not contain gelatin? Well, there's probably going to be lots of answers to this, and a lot of research will probably go into uh, answering the question. Now, I've done a quick search for you, um, and uh, the ones which I can say which are going to be available in most supermarkets, uh, Muller, but unfortunately, I know, shock horror, not Muller Lights. Um, but some of them are Muller Fruit Corner, Muller Crunch Corner, Muller Breakfast Corner, most of the corner ones to be honest, um, Muller Rice, also uh, Muller Light Chocolate Fixed Desserts and Amour. Um, so if there are any of those which are in your supermarket, then maybe try those, but also make sure you check the Slimming World website to find out how many sins are in each of those yogurts. Question number eight. Apologies if I get this wrong, but Hill Mings One has asked a very important question, and that is what everyday treats are available that will make you feel like you're not missing out? And there are a couple of choices which I use on a daily basis to give me a little bit of a sugar fix, which are low in sins, and here they are. Picture this, you are sitting on the sofa or in a cinema, and you really want some popcorn to go with your movie. And there's a lot of sins in popcorn. However, there are some healthy Slimming World choices which are low in sins and also really tasty. Now, that is these. 
These are Sun Bites, uh, whole grain popcorn. These are actually quite low sin alternatives to regular popcorn. The sweet caramel is only three sins for a bag and the light salted and sweet popcorn is just two and a half sins for a bag. Same as the lightly sea salted. So if you are looking for that popcorn fix to go with your movie, these are great alternatives. You've had your popcorn fix and now it's time for chocolate. Now chocolate is something which is completely out of the question if you're on a diet, right? But if you go for these, these are the Mercado chocolate sticks, dark chocolate and also this variety which are my favourite which are the white chocolate. Um, they are little sticks of biscuit and they've also got chocolate covered on the inside and these will set you back half a sin per stick. They're actually quite filling and quite tasty. My third choice for something sweet, which is quite low in sins, are these, pink and whites. Now, we have two varieties. You have the pink and whites originals, and then the pink and whites jammies. These are really, really good, and they're actually quite low in sin. They look like this, so if you have a little closer look, and they are quite tasty. They're really nice if you stick them in the microwave. These are two and a half sins for the standard ones, and then the ones with jam in the middle, which are even nicer, are just three sins, so it's worth snacking on. Fourth and final treat, so you don't feel like you're missing out, is of course the highlight bars. These are Slimming World bars that are available in the group. They are really delicious, as you can tell. I've already opened one. Um, these are the brand new ones, which are dark chocolate mint, which are absolutely delicious. You've got uh, chocolate orange here as well. They're my second favourites. There's lots of varieties. They're all very tasty. But do watch out for these. Now, I don't know if you've seen these ones in your... Uh, they're called Peanut Heaven. Um, do watch out with these. The reason I say it, because these are two bars for your healthy extra. But these are just one bar. So make sure that you are aware of that. That you can only have one bar of these. And then your healthy extras for the day are gone. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Weigh-In Time. Don't forget the Sunday Weigh-In is happening, so make sure you comment below with all of your gains, your losses, uh, the sin values of things which might be brand new, and any tips and tricks that you've learned throughout your week. Just pop them in the comment section below for everyone to see. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and if you've liked the video, then just hit the like button. I'll catch you next time for another Weigh-In Time. Thanks again.